Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Now, it's been a while since I've actually created a podcast style video because there have been a lot of collective energies coming through, especially for those of us who do identify as twin flames. So because of that, I've really felt guided to do more channeled reading style videos to deliver more messages that I feel are essential for many listening at this time on the planets. However, I woke up today feeling an inspiration to create a video on twin flame activation. So I feel my guides are pushing me to speak on many things around twin flame activation, but specifically why these activations occur, because I know that for many of us who have been activated onto a twin flame path, this can feel like a very disruptive experience to our lives, and this will be explained later on in the podcast, but also because so many twin flames are being activated at this time and essentially are awakening in their bodies, their souls are waking up to the truth of these connections and beginning to try and make sense of what is occurring between themselves and this other physically incarnated soul. So we are going to discuss that in today's podcast. I've got my coffee, so be sure to get your coffee, your tea, whatever you like to drink in the morning or whatever time it is where you are. And we're going to talk about twin flame activation, what it is, why it happens. And towards the end of the video, we will actually be getting into clear signs that you and your twin flame have an activated connection. But first, be sure to subscribe to join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. I say that on this channel, we are co-creators and soul family. And what I mean by co-creators is that by subscribing, you are actually joining a collective of souls that we are creating here consciously. And what this means is that by subscribing, I'm able to pick up more easily on your energy as part of this collective. And this does allow me to bring forth more relevant readings, videos, podcasts, and information for you in the future. So twin flame activation. Let's really start with the basics here. So one of the more confusing aspects of being a twin flame is that it feels at the same time so natural and so abnormal. Natural because it's something that we've always felt, we've always sensed within us, but abnormal because it is very rare to be someone who is consciously experiencing a twin flame path. And in fact, although there are more of us than ever awakening, activating these connections, or rather being activated divinely to these connections beyond our ego's conscious control, at times we can feel very alone because we are as lightworkers and as twin flames strategically placed around the globe, around the planet. Whenever I share about this concept in my mind, I always see this very dark kind of board and it looks like a giant global map and you see these little lights lit up in different cities, places, countries, locations all over the world and in my mind's eye 
Those little lights represent you. They represent us, light workers who are waking up to the truth of our power and potential. And for those of you who are not only light workers, but also twin flames, you are coming here to unlearn so many limiting belief systems, paradigms around conditional love to vibrate at the frequency of unconditional love, learning that through the vehicle of twin flame conscious connection in this lifetime for the purpose of being a beacon of that unconditional love to others. However, like I mentioned previously, we are strategically placed. And what I mean by this is very often, although there are more of us around the planet than our ego would have us to believe, we also can feel very alone because in the 3D, we are placed in certain locations, social environments, communities, even families, friend groups where we feel as though we are the only one going through these experiences or there are very few around us in the 3D who really seem to fully understand us. This is also because many of us experience kind of a rapid fire karmic untangling resolution, if you want to call it that. So we will meet many different karmic people in our lives, whether it's strangers, friends, lovers, even sometimes karmic connections will be placed within our own immediate family as twin flames for the purpose of, again, very quickly unraveling resolving these karmic patterns and cycles to be able to, as souls, rise to this highest frequency of unconditional love without being weighted down by these old karmic situations and patterns, some of which are very ancient. But again, all of this works together to often cause us to feel very alone and at times deeply misunderstood by the people that are physically around us. So what does this have to do with twin flame activation? Well, circling back here, everyone actually has a divine counterpart. It's a law of nature. Everything in nature that is in creation has both feminine and masculine aspects to it in perfect balance and harmony. This is where we get the concept for the yin yang symbol representing the feminine and masculine energies inherent in all of nature, in all of creation. So when a soul is created at the origin points of a soul, it's like with everything that comes into creation must carry with it both a masculine and feminine polarity. And this is where we get twin flames, two souls that are essentially the same, but one carries the masculine polarity and one carries the feminine polarity. And in this sense, they are distinct from one another, although they carry the same soul essence, the same core soul frequency. Now, along with this, we do incarnates around the same origin point as other souls that we often call clusters, soul groups, or soul family. So these within our soul groups or soul cluster, although we only share the exact same core soul frequency with our twin flame, we will have a similar frequency to these other souls in our soul cluster. And we refer to these as soulmates. And of course, soulmates can be both platonic or romantic. Now, when people talk about twin flame connection being very rare, this is where it gets kind of confusing because every soul does have a counterpart soul because again this is inherent in all of nature it is law essentially but the reason that twin flame connection as we understand it is so rare is because it is very rare for a twin flame connection to be activated within a physical lifetime and the reason for this rarity is because, as you know, if you are a twin flame, 
being a conscious twin flame in a physical body, living this physical human experience is very disruptive to the flow and the trajectory of your physical lifetime. It is a lot to take on in one lifetime. When you are activated by your twin flame, it will forever shift, alter, and change the course of your physical lifetime, but it will also completely alter your sense of self. And the thing is that for many, many people, for many souls, there is this awareness that being activated as a twin flame would be too intense for their current chosen life circumstances, for the current conditions of their physical vessel or body, for the maturity level of their soul. There is a lot that goes into the soul intentions created for our lifetime and whether or not we choose to be one of those who will be activated to a twin flame path. So if you are someone who has elected as a soul to be consciously activated in this lifetime as a twin flame, that inherently means that you are also someone who is a very old soul. You have most likely incarnated in hundreds, more likely thousands of lifetimes, potentially even on not only this planet Earth, but other planets and places as well. You have a lot of accumulated soul experience and in order to sustain, to sustain some semblance of coherency and sanity in this physical lifetime as a consciously activated twin flame, it is necessary for you to draw upon all of that unconscious soul experience because again, this path is incredibly intense. So this is why twin flame connection as we think of it, meaning being someone who not only has a divine counterpart as all souls do, but someone who is consciously aware of their counterparts and fully activated to conscious knowing of the connection is a very rare experience. So twin flame activation, again, is not something that happens by chance or by accident. This isn't something that you just stumble into, although from our ego's perspective, at times it can feel that way. It can feel as though we somehow just stumbled into this, what to our ego feels like craziness or insanity. But the truth is that twin flame activation is always is divinely planned and pre-orchestrated and all of those circumstances around your activation that to others may look like coincidences are truly synchronicities because they are too coincidental to actually be coincidences in the human sense of the world. Again, they are pre-orchestrated divinely planned So typically, because of the intensity of the full-blown activation points of two twin flame souls in this life, the activation process begins very early on in physical life. For most, this activation actually slowly begins to unfold at the beginning of physical life. So very often, initially, this activation begins unconsciously and slowly becomes more conscious. So what I mean by this is you will begin to, as a human incarnated here, you will begin to process these kinds of unconscious bits of information from your twin flame that slowly become astral experiences or dream experiences connecting with your twin flame that begin very unconscious at first, but slowly you begin to recall them to a slight degree, enough that you begin to feel a strong sense of longing. I've heard this described in the twin flame community as longing for quote unquote, the one, this feeling that there is simply some other soul out there that you are meant to 
destined even to connect with in this lifetime who is going to have a profound impact upon you. Now, depending on your individual soul intentions, you might have more conscious interactions or less conscious interactions through the astral realm and through dream states with your twin. But by the time you do consciously connect with your twin, which for most is a meeting of some sorts, either a meeting of the conscious minds, meaning you may meet online or in a dream, but it's very conscious and very much a shared experience or a physical meeting one or the other, again, whether it's a physical meeting or a meeting of your conscious minds, this is the point of full-blown activation for twin flames. I often think of twin flame connection as you and this other soul, both holding one end of a line or one end of a rope. And there is no way to let go of this rope on either side regardless of whether you are incarnated in this life or not, everyone is holding this rope at their heart center. And at the other end of that rope is their divine counterpart soul that is holding it as well. However, the vast majority of people aren't even aware that they are holding a rope at all because that is part of their unique soul intentions. They may not be meant to be activated to conscious knowing of their the identity of their divine counterparts, of their twin flame, or of this connection. However, for those of us who identify as twin flames, we become aware that someone is holding the other end of that rope. So when twin flame connection is activated, essentially what it feels like is this rope you've been holding that as a twin flame you've always kind of been aware on some level that there was some other soul at the other end of that rope well all of a sudden twin flame activation occurs and someone starts pulling on that rope and literally tugging on your soul tugging on your hearts now, of course, people feel this in different ways, and we will get into that in a minute, describing some signs that your twin flame connection has been activated in this way. But usually, this pulling sensation begins again slightly when you become unconsciously aware through dreams or other means that your twin flame exists, that this connection exists. But once you have that conscious touch points of activation, of mutual shared knowing of this connection, that is when you find yourself within this activated twin flame connection in full force. And that is typically when you begin to experience the intensity of the connection to a much greater level and degree. So with that being said, let's get into some signs that your twin flame connection has been activated. But before I get into that, I do want to share with you that if you are resonating with this video so far and this information is connecting in your hearts and soul, this is pretty much a surefire sign that you are on a twin flame path of some sort whether your twin flame is incarnated here in this life or not, whether you have met them or not, whether you are aware of their identity, this material would not be resonating to this point if you were not someone who has elected to be a twin flame in this life, which means that you are on this path of unlearning limiting beliefs around love and truly rising to that magnetic frequency of pure unconditional love and this isn't always an easy thing to do because as humans with these physical human minds we do pick up a lot of misinformation around love and connection that we call unconscious limiting beliefs and although these limiting beliefs do become very unconscious. They become deeply stored in the subconscious mind. They do weigh down our energy field and prevent us from fully accessing 
the unconditional love both within ourselves and the love attracted from others and from all of the universe that is our birthright so to assist you in releasing these limiting programs around love and really magnetizing your frequency to the heights of unconditional love i have created a twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal meditation this subliminal is designed to deeply reprogram your own subconscious mind releasing those limiting beliefs about love from the root which again is deeply unconscious and it works by using unconscious affirmations so although your conscious mind can't fully hear them that is why subliminals are so powerful because these affirmations are capable of bypassing that gatekeeper of the conscious minds and making deeper, more radical shifts in the subconscious, which is directly reflected in your energy field. And if you are someone who has consciously identified or connected with your twin flame, this subliminal will also assist you in releasing any blockages or barriers energetically that may be preventing you from fully clearly connecting with this person either mentally emotionally or in the physical world as well so this subliminal comes from my website soundandsoulful.com and as you can see on the screen on this website i've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life so I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence and happiness, for material manifestations like money and business success, for love and relationships, and of course for twin flames as well. And when you create a seven-day free trial account on my website, you can access any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days. You can also create your very own custom private playlists. So again, all of the information on that twin flame seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comments and description box under this video. So let's get into four signs that your twin flame connection has been activated. The first sign, and perhaps the most intense sign, is a feeling of pervasive longing for the other that seems to grow stronger no matter what you try to do. This is a sign that you and your twin have an active connection, meaning that one or both of you is now consciously aware of this connection and through that awareness is in the previous metaphor pulling on that string, that rope that is connecting your heart center to their heart center. So this is differentiated from being empathic, meaning picking up on the energy or emotions from others because again, that word here is pervasive. It is something that prevails regardless of where you go, what you do, who you connect with. It is something that is always there beneath the surface. Most twin flames are souls that are also highly empathic, so this can lead to some confusion you might find yourself wondering, are these emotions truly my own or is this coming from this other person? But over the course of time, you will recognize your true twin flame and the way in which you've been activated because these feelings do not fade, dissipate, or disappear. At times, they may be more active than others, depending on the degree of thought energy that is being sent from one soul in the twin flame connection to the other. But regardless, this feeling of pull, this feeling of longing will always be there beneath the surface. 
The second sign your twin flame connection has been activated and perhaps the most frustrating sign is that when you activate your twin flame connection, you may find that other romantic connections in your life feel as though they are being energetically, mentally, or emotionally, even in some cases, physically disrupted you may find that you lose a sense of physical, emotional, or mental attraction to romantic partners that you've been extremely attracted to in the past. You may also find that there is increased miscommunications in any current romantic situations or relationships. It can feel as though you and the other person are simply just missing each other or not fully connecting with one another, especially in those moments when your twin flame soul is activating you to an even greater degree, meaning they are really pulling at that string of your hearts even more greatly. Twin flame connection is such a powerful, intense, and deep energetic experience designed to raise our vibration to a radical degree. But the thing is that when our vibration is being raised by our twin in this way, when they are activating us to these higher levels of consciousness, it can feel as though other romantic connections that were forged through potentially lower planes or levels of consciousness can feel as though they are being disconnected from us the more that we raise our frequency through twin flame connection to that higher level of existence. And because of physical human attachments, bonds that we create with these others, this can cause us feelings of pain and also a sense of almost cognitive dissonance where there's a part of us that really wants to hold on to these connections we forged in this lifetime and another part of us is feeling as though we are being divinely disconnected from them. The third sign your twin flame connection has been activated is you may have intensified dreams, astral experiences, or other amplified synchronicities with your twin flame. Specifically, you may see numbers like 1111, 222. For some, combinations of sevens are also included in there. You can let me know in the comments, by the way, what types of numbers, synchronicities, or other strange experiences you have with your twin when you feel more greatly activated to this connection. But regardless, these things are signs and indications that you are communicating more closely with your own higher self, which of course is directly linked to your divine counterpart, to your twin flame, because your higher selves share the same core soul frequency. And finally, the fourth sign that you are being activated as a twin flame is that you may find that thoughts of your twin flame that are extremely emotionally charged seem to come out of nowhere or even at times seem to get to the point of being a bit obsessive. You may find it difficult to get this person to get their face, their name, the identity of this person out of your mind because at some level, your soul is experiencing this recognition or as we often say recognition but really it's a re remembrance on a very deep soul level of the identity of your divine counterparts and at some unconscious level you can find yourself feeling really hung up or caught up on the physical identity of this person because it's as though your soul is saying i've known you in every lifetime who are you in this one so i really hope this podcast helped to 
give you a frame of reference for understanding what you are going through if you are someone experiencing twin flame activation at this time. And if any of these signs or anything from this podcast did connect with you in a meaningful way, I would really love if you could leave me a comment under this video and let me know. Otherwise, the link to my Twin Flame 7 Chakra Clearing Subliminal Meditation is in the pinned comments and description box under this video. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next podcast.